I'm going to have to talk really loud for you, aren't I? You can do that. <laughs> okay. She I can will. do it. If anybody yes. can, she can do it. <laughs> Cat calls. I don't know. Okay. Um, can you hear me in the back now if I talk at this level? Oh, you can't see me. That's no problem. You don't need to see me. I could be a voice in the darkness. Uh, okay. But um, no, uh, I'm just thankful. Um, I want to say thank you to Dr. Jackson for supporting all the work that um, the Small Fruit and Vegetable Unit does. And especially want to thank Dr. Rafi and his crew, David and Charlie, because without them, they wouldn't have brought ginger and turmeric here for you to grow. And there is a market. The other thing I think is interesting that Dr. Carlin had mentioned was uh, um, about all the studies going on about ginger and turmeric. Well, I'm here to tell you, um, since I've been eating ginger, fresh ginger since a child, and, and now like liking the turmeric, the, the, um, the ancient uh, Asians, uh, the East Indians, and the folks from Jamaica, the Caribbean, they've known this all along. So, um, so it's good that science catches up with nature. <laughs> um, anyway, as you can say, uh, say I never take things too seriously because we need to, when we learn, learning is fun. So today I'm here to talk to you about successfully marketing ginger and turmeric in Virginia. And um, okay, uh, the learning objectives today are that I'll discuss market value for these two crops, some consumer trends touched upon by um, Dr. Carlin, and then some sales strategies that you can try. Um, here's the uh, 2014 ginger market value as, as um, from last night. <laughs> so um, in 2013, the U.S. imported nearly $81 million um, worth of fresh ginger root. Um, and then the wholesale price as of last night was a 30-pound box uh, is uh, going for $53 to $70 in the eastern um, what's called terminal markets uh, where where all the shipments go and um, buyers pick up. So it, the range is, is, a, is pretty much like a less about $20 range between there. However, for a one pound of the local um, wholesale, uh, I, I was speaking to a farmer out in Charlottesville. He's getting $10 wholesale for his local, um, local product. And then also the retail grocer price as of uh, November 2014, kind of shopping around the gamut from the Kroger uh, to the Whole Foods, we're seeing a price uh, point of $2.99 up to $9.99 a pound uh, based on if it's certified organic or, um, or where it's coming from. So the certified organic uh, product, it's not baby ginger. Um, at least I had um, Whole Foods is now stocking a local baby ginger for $9.99 a pound, but the uh, ba the ginger that I'd seen with the mature skin it was $9.99 uh, for certified organic. That's the highest I'd seen it. And then um, direct pricing local that that's at like the farmers markets and such. A pound is five dollars to sixteen dollars depending on market saturation. If there's other farms in the area growing that same thing and bringing it to market, that, that, that can be problematic or it can be a challenge unless you start to work together. <laughs> um, and then also, uh, it has been uh, frequently marketed um, as a dollar an ounce or like an inch piece that they're selling that for a dollar for folks to put in their smoothie uh, straight away. Um, as far as the 2014 turmeric market value, in 2013, the U.S. imported $14 million worth of fresh turmeric root, which is why the challenge for us uh, is that the people are more aware of ginger and how to use it than they are uh, with turmeric because there's not enough coming into the, the U.S. system. So they're not seeing in the grocery stores. But once folks start to get normalized with the turmeric, and once you begin after after this talk to start teaching customers how to use the turmeric, we'll see that that trend will be where they might match up. Because in Asian cultures and in Indian cultures, we use those um, together um, in companion or as substitutes often if we whatever we have. Um, but most likely, we have ginger on hand. Um, so how do you find these prices where I said I found them last night? Well, the, the one for the market uh, price is uh, 
the, the retail prices, you, you're going to just have to go and shop around if possible um, and, and look and see what the prices are. Uh, you can call the stores and ask them what's the price for your fresh ginger. I mean, you don't have to make a trip to a uh, specialty market. You can call them and the pro call the produce section and they, they will tell you. Um, they're very nice. And um, also, well, they're very nice. Okay, web. Also, you can look on the web and this is the website and it's, it's actually in the, the bulletin in your, in your um, packets that has that website. But let me just show you, because it's a little bit convoluted. Oh, whoa. I guess I didn't show you. Wow, I lost myself. Uh-oh. OK. This isn't good. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. I think I lost my uh, escape here. Eh. That's because we're being recorded, right? OK. Um, how do you find the prices? That's how. Just go to that website, and then you, um, you'll figure it out. I know it, because you're smart. So why is ginger and turmeric um, trending right now in the marketplace with consumers? Um, there's a there's an upsurge of interest in Eastern traditions, um, and also there's global awareness and uh, functional foods category. These three these three um, concepts are trending with consumers. They're they're ringing you know, they're ringing their consciousness and they're wondering and they're fitting those two together and they're looking at ginger and turmeric in that way. Um, Uh-oh, one more thing. You're gonna have to cut this terribly. <laughs> okay, East, uh, the Eastern traditions, uh, Dr. Carlin had mentioned this, but Ayurveda, um, that is uh, ancient science this, and, uh, and uh, of the Indian culture, uh, Hindus, particularly uh, searching for bind, body, mind, and spirit in balance, and actually um, also that interest in yoga. So oftentimes, if you know where the local yoga class is meeting, you could actually ask them if they'd like to do a prepaid subscription with you for your ginger and turmeric. So you could essentially sell that before, before it comes due. I would, I would encourage you to try it. Um, the other is that Ayurveda, which is that, that body, mind, and spirit in balance. Turmeric hits that because it balances the three doshas, which are vata, pitta, and katva. Is anyone knowing what I'm saying? And you don't have to, but I'm saying if you know, your customers will really be impressed. Okay, so uh, I'm just touching on them. You can figure it out later. Um, and then also for ginger, ginger is considered hot. You know, hot and it you know energizes, and then uh, gen ginger also provides energy, uh, agi. Uh, so strong energy um, or agi uh, supports the absorption of nutrients and elimination of toxins. So so ginger is for that. So when you say elimination of toxins, guess what's very popular right now? Someone want to yell it at me? A prize. I, I have a prize on the table. Yes, okay, someone yelled. I'm just going to go to the quickest. Molly, could you, um, you know what, after we're done, you could just pull something from the table you like, okay? Um, uh, global awareness, that's the second uh, trending situation. Global awareness in that uh, we as Americans are world travelers. Uh, in 2013, 29 million American citizens traveled abroad, uh, which is a 1.8% increase from 2012. Um, so we're seeing that people are traveling, and when they travel, what do they do? They eat. So they acquired some ex ex exotic palates from Asia, the Caribbean, the Middle East, Africa, and India. So, so these tastes, are, they're coming back, and they're wanting those tastes at home. So ginger and turmeric actually equal memories. So if you can somehow hit that point, uh, bring in culinary ideas from other countries, especially countries like the Caribbean, because uh, when I looked at the charts, people in America were traveling a lot or cruising to the Caribbean. So they're tasting those foods and they want them. So maybe take a look at what's happening in these uh, resorts in the Caribbean. What are they serving up and how are, are they incorporating fresh ginger and fresh turmeric? And, um, or just ask your, ask your customers, hey, you came back from a cruise, what did you eat? Did, did you, did you eat something with fresh ginger and fresh turmeric? Okay, great, <laughs> share it on Facebook. So um, as far as functional foods, um, there's that uh, term called CAM, which is complementary 
alternative medicine. And um, that is where um, patients or outpatients, instead of like going to the doctor, they might choose a natural, um, a natural remedy such as massage or what have you. But um, in terms of outpatient herbal use and cancer treatment, four out of 10 adult patients were using the CAM. So they were using that in complement to their doctor. So this is where ginger and turmeric actually fit in, and that's what Dr. Carlin was mentioning about all the benefits and some of the possible potential downfalls of some of them if you were to overdose, because they are like medicine. Um, for arthritis pain relief, ginger root powder reduced arthritis pain 75% um, and muscle pain 100% of participants in a study, and I, I linked that there. Um, however, now that uh, I heard that this uh, ginger root, the ginger tea is a problem, maybe the ginger root pow powder, but the study that I'd found said that ginger root powder reduced vomiting in early pregnancy with 70% of the study subjects, but maybe they might have lost the baby too, so um, that I don't know. But you see why medicine is so scary? I mean, it, it's like you, you have these articles and you don't know which one to choose. You're just like the consumer. So better not to pull out some of those literatures or if, if anyone asks you to point the customer to where they can research it or ask their doctor if it's okay. Um, but again, this is a powder which is more concentrated than fresh. But still, I mean, we always have to have this cautionary, this caution in our head about it. Um, so functional foods, again, anti-nausea and chemotherapy. Uh, there's, it's promising in reducing na nausea duration and severity, but more research is needed. needed. Lower cholesterol, um, lowers cholesterol, thins the blood. Um, promising and clogged artery and high cholesterol patients, but more research is needed again. And then it, it's seen as a cancer cell killer. And there was data from Dr. Carlin. Carlin um, it worked with laboratory rat cancer cells, but human research trials are continuing to be needed. Um, so as far as dosage, dosage equivalence, I think Dr. Carlin touched on this, but um, some studies have shown that fresh ginger has better results than powder due to the active enzymes in the fresh ginger. And most clinical studies dosed in units of one gram of powdered ginger root, or um, PGR. So um, there was uh, some research that indicated that you're not to take more than four grams per day in pregnant women with physician approval physician approval, no more than one gram um, per day. Um, and you can, um, I believe the PowerPoints will be on the web for you to access um, at a later time. Um, so as far as dosage equivalents, um, fresh ginger root equivalents, uh, I, I took it down um, to one gram of the powdered ginger root equals a quarter inch slice um, just by the weight, you know, taking it down. So you could you could actually tell folks that approximately a gram of the powdered ginger root in these research studies can equate or estimately closely equate to a quarter inch of the slice. So you could be selling quarter inch slices if you want, or they'll like look at your ginger and they'll be slicing out a quarter inch to dose themselves. So, so um, that was the thought process of knowing that conversion with the, the fresh ginger. So um, nausea, gas, or indigestion, uh, two to four grams of fresh root. Go cold and flu systems, headaches, uh, ginger tea, if you were to make that and not pregnant. Uh, <laughs> um, you would, uh, two tablespoons fresh shredded ginger steeped in boiled water for, for five minutes for two to three times a day. So um, arthritis, two to four grams a day. Shred fresh root in a warm compress, apply to painful areas. But as far as like my family, uh, my father, he has arthritis. Um, he just drinks it, you know, he doesn't put it anywhere. So that's just a personal story there. So um, when the customers are intrigued by the, the data coming out in the media, um, you still want to have the customers ask the doctor because you don't want to seem like a doctor um, in that case, because that might make you liable if something were to happen. 
So just to be careful. Um, ginger is, as Dr. Carlin mentioned, it's safe, considered safe, but you still want to ask the doctor for a pregnant and breastfeeding women, gas, uh, children, a gallstone sufferers, diabetes, heart condition patients, and anyone on blood thinners like aspirin or Coumadin. Um, and just to touch quickly on the CAM therapies, the largest uh, usage here it, in the 15.4 billion category is non-vitamin, non-mineral, natural products, practitioner and self-care. That's a large part, M massage, yoga, chiropractic and homeopathic mes medicine, uh, 3.1 billion. So 30.7 billion is happening um, in, as of 2012 um, in terms of CAM spending. So what I would suggest to you is that, remember when I talked about go find the t uh, yoga class and what have you, but um, find the, massage, <laughs> the massage parlors um, if possible, or the, the local massage um, uh, mas masseuse. Is that right, J <laughs> James? Yes, massage therapist, right, right. Not a massage parlor, I'm sorry. <laughs> ah! oh, how about Massage Envy? That store's all right. Okay, so, um, and also your chiropractor, right? Do you see all these customers hidden in here? Uh, the Tai Chi class, the karate class, the Qi Gong class, probably kickboxing class. Um, um, and also, I f this is on here, but oftentimes, uh, folks that eat organic and local and are healthy, they tend to have um, an active lifestyle and they have a, a pet or a dog or a cat. Um, so they, they're at the veterinary office. So you could place all at all those places that you have this ginger prepaid for this much. There are plenty of customers if you're creative. Um, so here's some sales tra strategies rolling in. I'm going to discuss the product forms, how you display that thoughtfully, and how you can be a ginger or a turmeric uh, guru. Um, product forms, uh, fresh young for the ginger, fresh mature for both. Um, there's dried, which can be subject to irradiation, and, um, and then it's dried on a dirt floor prep prep. So situation in some um, some countries, uh, crystallized where it's sugared, um, and then pickled uh, like for sushi ginger uh, the sushi ginger, which there's some on the table <laughs> there for someone up front. Okay, and displaying thoughtfully. Um, with display, you want to think of comp uh, well display thoughtfully complementary products, signage, and then arranging uh, by price. Uh, arranging price by size and weight. And um, so for complementary products, you want to uh, put products that go with the ginger and turmeric together. So would that uh, person be using that crop in the same dish, like onions, garlic, stir-fry vegetables, um, and then also smoothie ingredients, uh, pineapple. Well, you don't have pineapple. What, what, what's the local? A local smoothie, kale. yeah, kale, exactly, green smoothies, wheatgrass and such. Um, so um, put it there so it goes in the, it goes in the shopping basket, okay. Uh, as far as signage, um, here's one um, that, that I had made in the past and uh, I gave it to a farmer to use, but he still has it after three years. But um, here it's a, a dollar per ounce, you know, to sell it by an inch, and then there's an inch drawn on it, so then the customer can just measure how many inches that they need. So, um, so that so that one is an idea, and um, another is uh, this one, which is kind of busy, but I kind of try to uh, make it where good health tastes good, ginger locally grown, and then you list all the culinary um, part, the culinary. Then um, ideas, baking, smoothies, stir fry, marinades, and tea. And it says there adults can eat up to four grams a day. Four grams equals an inch. And then, um, and then here, medicinal helps with nausea, gas, indigestion, arthritis, muscle soreness. Check if okay with the doctor. And um, it says storage up to three weeks in a cool, dry, dark place. And then the person can take their ginger and measure um, I need this much for a week. I won't come back to the farmer's market for two weeks, so I'm going to need this much to eat. 
so they can use your board to measure their purchase and, and kind of give themselves their dosage that way. So, so uh, uh, you can sell the ginger or turmeric by pound or inch, it's up to you. You can actually have two different price schemes uh, where um, you're selling it by the pound and then you can offer it for an inch. But try to weigh those inches uh, so you know you're not you know, selling it underpriced. Um, and arranging by size. This is very important. Um, you could potentially lose a lot of the quality of your product because when customers come, they'll be, they'll be wanting to break off what they think they need. So do it for them so they don't handle this, the product too much. Um, you, can, um, you can just basically have a basket for one inch pieces, you know, two inch, two inch pieces, larger piece, or a week's worth and such, just so that, you know, your customers don't damage the goods. It happens. Okay, so um, one inch per day, weigh out an inch. See how much that, co you know, that, that is for you. Um, it can be variable. Then you get an average there. And then seven inches per week. So you can weigh that too. All right. And uh, page down. This is uh, the being a ginger and turmeric um, guru. Um, educate, storage, and recipes. Those are the things that your customers need to know um, from you. So as far as educating, um, these are some links that I had found, but I recently found this, um, I better not go to it, but this authority nutrition. Oftentimes, if, you're, if you work at the university, you don't have to pay for some of the scholarly research articles. However, like farmers, uh, you would have to pay uh, 25 to 45 dollars to read some of these articles. But you might want to have a stack of these articles around when you're making points on your chalkboards or what have you. But this one, is it okay, Chris, to even go to the web or it's too scary? Don't do it. You can try, but yeah, we, because we're so far behind. Oh, we're too far behind. Anyway, it's very awesome because you just click on the, on the, um, on the actual tabs and it, uh, you know, for the statements and it takes you directly to the published journal article. And I, I have never seen anything like that before, that it was free to the public. So I thought that was pretty awesome. Um, the George Madeljan Foundation, uh, many of you might know it, it's like the Whole Foods Authority. But basically, you can click on ginger um, or even um, all these different food products, and it gives you the nutrition and the and the the, the pu published research on the on those um, on those products, and um, and then of course you, you can always you know feel good about using university research. Um, so there's a medical University of Maryland medical school in there. And then teaching on how to use ginger and turmeric. Um, for cooking, uh, you can look at whole, wholeliving.com and eatingwell.com. And for wellness, you can look at uh, WebMD and livestrong.com. And you just search in the bars uh, and you put in ginger or turmeric. And you'll, you'll be like astounded. And what I do like about it is that it uses uh, medical research, but it brings it to the people. So oftentimes, um, if someone uses a lot of big terminology, then the consumer won't grab it and run with it, even though it's backed with that. So if you can read it in a popular press article with the backing of the actual um, research article, that helps. That helps us a lot. So we want to talk to people. As, 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 you know, as equals, and we want them to understand so they can act on that information. So as far as storage, storing, this is very important because once the product goes bad, they'll be, they might be upset and not want to buy it. So you store fresh roots in a cool, dark, dry place in a ginger jar, which is sold in Asian stores. And then um, you may keep it in the refrigerator in a closed paper bag, like loosely, for one week. And um, I, I think um, what I did was I bought you know, a bunch of these little um, lunch bags. And you could um, give it to the customer. And then they just take 
you know, the product and they put it in here and then you just tell them, you know, just like that and you could store it there for a week and it'll be very good. Um, and that's, that's basically um, what I, I do um, now that I've learned that technique and it works just fine. <laughs> okay, Patricia. Okay, um, and then uh, you can, it can be frozen fresh in slices or pre-made into logs to use later. This is so awesome. I, I just learned this, but I think this is like revolutionary as far as buying a lot of this product and then storing it for use. It's so convenient, and I, I urge you to try this and show this to your customers. You basically use the microplane, uh, which you know, we use for all our cheeses and such, hard cheeses, you grate it. Then you take your saran wrap and you lay that, you grate, you, you put that on the saran wrap and you kind of press it into like a little roll and then you roll it up tight and then you put the um, zip locks on it and then the, you can break it when you want to use it and it's just very good because I've seen somewhere they actually uh, mix one-to-one -one ratio with coconut oil and the fresh ginger. You can do this with fresh ginger and fresh turmeric. And they mix it with the oil, but this way it's just all product. That means they buy more product. That's what we want. <laughs> okay. So um, I did provide you with some uh, recipes here. And um, these recipes, uh, if you can think about your recipes with the baked goods, Think of, uh, think of making them gluten-free. It, it just catches your customer's eye. Um, and uh, these recipes are here. But this um, gin term, Fountain of Youth Elixir, um, this is like this product that I found at, the, um, at, at Whole Foods and at Fresh Market. And... Um, I couldn't believe it, but it was five dollars and ninety-nine cents. But if you let it to sit and not, and you, you let it to sit, it's all, only it gets all clear. And then right here at the bottom is the turmeric. But you can make so much juice, and you could teach your customers to make their own juice th that they wouldn't have to buy this anymore. But when I went there to uh, I saw it a couple months ago, told Dr. Rafi I was excited about it, and um, then I tried to like make the recipe, and it, it seemed, you, I made it for you, did you, did you like it? Okay. <laughs> and um, anyway, so, so basically, this is $5.99, and what I was going to say when I went there to get one, this was the only one at, at the store, for, and I'm thinking, well, people are really buying this, and why should they when they can make it? themselves. So this recipe kind of takes uh, the, see they even put the ingredients right on the front so I just kind of played with it to, <laughs> you know I'm cheap, I can't help it, I don't know, that's, that's the way I am, but okay, so, <sighs> okay, okay. Um, and then I have like little tips here, but you could actually take these tips and just, you know, and then put them like in little places or send them on your Facebook page to get people or your social media or your web page or your email, whatever you do, postcard. Just kind of like take little of the, these little ideas and place them in your communications to your customers to get them really excited and feel empowered about using this, this specialty crop. Um, and then of course, there's some other products here, but the key is to whatever our recipes are, um, to make them simple with kinds of ingredients they already have, like they'll have potatoes around, uh, they'll have eggs, and they'll probably have, you know, um, you know, different spices and such. And um, I made you the turmeric banana blast smoothie, which we can try in a little bit. And then, of course, you want to encourage this idea, since they're doing yoga and massage and they do spas, to give them different kinds of money-saving ways to... And instead of going and paying for that, they could just make it themselves. So um, I've made uh, lots of, I made these, and this little detox um, bath, it, it, <laughs> if you try that, um, 
it, it's very interesting because it's very, very hot, <laughs> but um, it helps you to sweat a lot. So you can go in the bath and then you can sweat a lot. I don't know if that's a good thing, but it's interesting. Um, and then a uh, bright and clear facial mask. Uh, did you know that the, um, the Indian women, um, uh, East Indian women and Asian women, they often use this mix of turmeric. They even use it straight and they put it on their face to just kind of give it a clean, you know, clean look. And, but I, I, I um, made one here that, and I also have one on the table if anyone is game to try that and put it in the refrigerator. Um, two tablespoons of organic oats, two tablespoons of organic plain yogurt, a uh, tablespoon of organic honey, and one teaspoon of fresh local turmeric. And, you know, put that on there and, and see. They even say it's good for acne. So um, you have to try it. It's just ancient old stuff. So, um, and then of course, another uh, home remedy, which I made it also on the table if anyone wants to try. Um, this gin term, I, I made that up, you know, ginger and term, because I thought this make is, makes people want to buy both. So you start putting them together and you say, and you make all these recipes that are gin term. What, what's gin term? And you know, and they're gonna go, oh yes, this is gin term, you wanna try it? And they'll be kind of cool with their friends. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, the cough syrup, because it's cold and flu, two lemons, uh, two tablespoons of fresh turmeric, um, one inch of the sliced ginger, and a half cup of honey. I use Manuka. Um, I find that's very um, good in the winter. Um, and you just put that in a mason jar, but you could actually, um, you won't be making them because you need a certified kitchen unless you want to go there and then give me a call. Um, but if you didn't, just tell the customers that they can make these products, give them a recipe, and, and the, you know, or even have it where there's a class for moms um, where they, you know, maybe they have babysitting and all the moms get together and then they make this little product and they take it home for their babies and they report back if it helped or anything. So um, it's just, you know, fun to think about these things. It may, it, it definitely does help with your sore throat and coughing. Um, so in summary, the market is very promising um, and it has been for a while. So I've really been excited about the ginger and turmeric um, and, and the fresh, that it's in Virginia. That, to me, that's pretty awesome. And then um, marketing that as a spice and also as a cam medicine. And then um, use it to also promote healthy cuisine and um, provide cooking and crafting classes. Uh, you don't have to provide them. You could actually find someone who was a crafter in the community um, or the Parks and Rec or something like that uh, at the library, get people together and they have a class. It's all about community and, and, and being together and helping each other. So if, um, thank you. If, if you have any questions, you can ask me. Um, happy holiday wishes. And um, actually, I brought, um, let's see. I brought, I don't know what our time is, so either we do this halfway through. I, I brought the smoothies, and um, I have the muffins, and uh, different products here, and all the recipe, recipe cards are here for you. But to market it requires excitement. To market it requires, you know, information to give. So I hope that this, um, this presentation got you excited, maybe gave you some fresh ideas for marketing your products, and, and just to give you encouragement. Yeah. OK. OK. And I'll have this. We could just Thank give you. it out. Yeah. You